If you had told me this two months ago, I would have thought about it. I might have thought, what the hell, and you know, left everything behind and gone with you. But you kept it from me. And now it's like I don't even know you. I didn't fall in love with someone who could do this. And now I'm always thinking like, what else is she keeping from me? When is she going to pull the rug out from under me again? And I can't live with that. You've ruined us. So about the other night and that kiss. Uh, let's not say anymore and just forget it. It was embarrassing. Yes, I know, good. Wait. Embarrassing for who? For me. I mean, I'm just lucky all the guys were still on the side playing cards when we kissed. <laughs> Excuse me. You are not the embarrassed one. I lowered my standards. I mean, you wear the same shirt four days in a row. This, this is my work shirt, okay? I only have uh, two of these. And don't talk about what to wear to me, miss. Get my bracelet caught in my earring. I told you it got caught when I was putting my hair up. It's a hundred degrees here, it's dusty, and the people in this town have never even heard of air conditioning. So yeah, I get hot when my hair is down. Yeah, well maybe if your hair wasn't so beautiful and fit your face perfectly. Oh yeah, well what about that beard you have on your... What? That's right, your hair fits your face perfectly and it's all I think about. And, and you know what? I, I don't regret kissing you last night. Because I've been thinking about it ever since you moved into town here. Because I'm in love. I am in love with the most arrogant, pretentious, caring, beautiful woman I've ever met. Sarah? Morning clock. How did your date go last night with Phil the Pill? Well, not that it's any of your business, but it went really well, actually. Stop calling him that. Oh, I will. Once I have a conversation with him that doesn't end in me wanting to take all the pills in my medicine cabinet. Well, it must be tough for you to have an entire conversation with anybody who doesn't want to focus on you the entire time. All right. Truce. How's your caseload looking today? Oh, not great. I have an endo-occipital dislocation, a COPD patient, followed up with an open book pelvic fracture. And that's all before lunch. You? Oh, you know me. I like to start my morning off with a cup of joe, then a 30-year-old comminuted femur fracture, an idiot who blown his right pupil, and cystic fibrosis checkup. Wait, a comminuted femur fracture? I'd kill for that. Don't make me an offer. Like, I'm not gonna sleep with no, you! No, I know. I mean, like, a trade. Oh, I have an acute respiratory failure. Do they require mechanical ventilation? Yeah. Nah, what else you got? Okay, fine. I'll swap with you on my low count CBCs. How low is the blood count? Do you know? 3.7? <laughs> yeah, right. Fine, I'll also take your headache guy. Come to <laughs> Papa. Oh, I gotta go. All right. Oh. And I might have forgot to mention the 30-year-old also has lacerations dangerously close to the femoral artery. All right, give my what? best to the pill. Bye! <laughs>